Hello. Today I'm going to show you desktop receiving in Coupa. So desktop receiving, what is it? It's basically the ability for an end user, myself, to receive my orders when necessary. Anything that goes across the dock and is checked in by the warehouse receiving staff will be received by them. Anything that does not cross the dock will need to be received by me. There's two ways I can manage this. The first is in my to-do list. The second is under my name in activities. And I can see here under requisitions with a view of pending receipt, here's all my orders that can be received. Now, the difference is in my homepage under my to-do list, this list is actually managed with my notifications. There's a video on our YouTube channel to show you how to change your notifications. In this case, when I get a note that says, hey, there's an invoice and it hasn't been received yet, do you want to pay this invoice? My answer is, hey, I remember seeing those seats. Um, I actually had the vendor deliver them and set them up on our casino floor so they didn't cross the dock. I need to go in and receive this. In this case, I would create a receipt. The, it, the system will take me directly into this requisition. I can see that my theater seating is here. My purchase order was for two. I've received none to date. In this case, I can either select type out two or select all and it will receive all that were delivered. I can attach copies of any paperwork that I may have received during this delivery here using file browse, select a document off my computer. In this case, I scanned myself a document and it's listed here and I'm going to say open and it has been attached. I will then fill out my accounting company code and my property code and then I'm going to hit save. The system now has a receipt verified that these two chairs were received. It's going to give me a green bar saying I was successful. And because there's no conflict, the system will actually complete that to do. The second way is through the activity sheet. And everything with a truck basically means I can go and receive it. Not that I should, but I can. So in this case, I happen to know that the table games floor stickers I went and picked up from the supplier myself. In that case, the day I pick them up, I will come to this list, select the truck. It takes me again straight into the requisition. I would complete the 100 each that I picked up. Come down here. I didn't receive paperwork. If I wanted to, I could attach a picture of what I received. I'm going to fill out my accounting company code and property code, and I'm going to hit save. I'll then receive the green bar. When I go back to my activity, I notice that that is no longer on my list because there is no conflict, the documents match, and I no longer have an action to perform. Now, you may be asking yourself, Nikki, there's trucks here, but in my homepage, there's nothing for me to do. That's an excellent observation. Your to-do list only contains requisitions that you are the owner of, meaning that when I go into my cart and I create a requisition, I don't place it on behalf of someone else. Once I place my rec on behalf of another person, they become the owner of the purchase order and it will then show up in their to-do list. Since I want to see everything I've placed, regardless of if I'm the owner or not, I would manage my pending receipt list in my activity. Now you may notice some of these have trucks and some of them don't. In this instance, this truck, I placed this order and I can receive it. However, on this order, it isn't received yet, but I'm only a watcher. So I don't have the ability to receive this, but it's going to remain in my purview and I can check on its status in this field. Now, 
a hint would be, do I have to come and check this queue every day? No, you do not. You can actually set up a quick report to email you this view as often or as few times a week as you would like to see it. So you don't have to manually remember to come in here and check. The easiest way to do that is select your pending receipt view and select this schedule email button. You can then fill out how to schedule a new report, calling it review items for receipt. Select to send it to yourself. Let's say I want to see this every Friday, so I can just double check if anything that week was received, I can go in and do it. I want to see it in the morning, and I would like to see it in a uh, online report. If it's empty, I don't need to see it. I only want to see it if I actually have something to receive. I'm then going to come to the save, and then it will have created a report, and it will email me this list every Friday so I can double check it and see if I am responsible for going in and receiving anything from this list. That is how to handle desktop receipts in Coupa. I also recommend you watch our other video on the YouTube channel called SPO Receiving and that gives you hints and tricks on how to manage large standing purchase order receipts that you've created in Coupa. Hope this has helped. Have a great day.